What's the latest on grain-free diets and dietary-associated dilated cardiomyopathy in dogs? Since the FDA's first alert of a potential link between grain-free diets and DCM in July of 2018, 16 peer-reviewed research articles have been published. And while the number of reported cases may have decreased, the issue certainly hasn't gone away. Owners who have lost dogs to this disease know that it's all too real. Unlike primary dilated cardiomyopathy, which is chronically progressive and occurs in certain breeds like Doberman Pinschers and Great Danes, dietary associated dilated cardiomyopathy can occur in any breed and actually improves once a diet change is made. In fact, it was the uncharacteristic improvement of dog hearts after diet change that alerted cardiologists to the current diet associated DCM problem. It was identified early on that affected dogs were eating diets with similar properties. Research has shown that these diets, often termed non traditional diets, are commonly commercially available grain-free dry diets that contain pulses such as peas, lentils, and chickpeas, dry beans, and to a lesser extent, potatoes and sweet potatoes. Some research suggests that peas may actually be the most associated with this form of dilated cardiomyopathy, but that may just reflect the fact that peas are used more commonly in dog food than other pulses. It appears that dietary-associated DCM may be more closely associated with diets containing pulses rather than the presence or absence of grains. But unfortunately, we still aren't sure how this mechanism works or whether or not peas are truly the cause or just a confounding variable. And while taurine deficiency can cause dilated cardiomyopathy and was one of the first suspected causes of the current problem, most dogs who are diagnosed with dietary associated dilated cardiomyopathy have normal blood taurine levels, meaning that taurine deficiency was not the cause. So ultimately, what we do know is that the data and evidence that the FDA currently has does support an association between non-traditional diets and dilated cardiomyopathy in dogs. So until we know the exact cause or mechanism, I will continue to advise my clients not to feed their dogs grain-free or non-traditional diets. The benefits simply are not worth the risk. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and follow for more.